Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another cool mod today, and this mod is called the THX Helicopter Mod for Minecraft 1.2.5. Basically, what this mod allows you to do is to add in a helicopter into your Minecraft game. It's still in development, and it's pretty awesome. It works both single player and it works for multiplayer. In my tutorial, I will show you how to set it up for multiplayer, so let's get down to this and let's start crafting this helicopter so when you craft your helicopter it is a bit uh, weird uh, let's go ahead and let me go ahead and show you what I mean it's crafted uh, very strange this is basically how to craft it you just need wooden planks and you get this uh, funny looking item and yeah it's because this mod is in development that's why the crafting is a bit strange and the item looks strange as well but this is the helicopter I'm holding the helicopter in my hand it doesn't really look like a helicopter but until I place it that's when you actually see the helicopter this is the THX helicopter and it's really amazing I really enjoy this mod even though it just adds in a helicopter, it could shoot and it could like uh, launch a, uh, a missile towards you. It's really awesome. So let's go ahead and get inside this helicopter. All you have to do is just right click in the helicopter and you're going to immediately go inside. It's going to start running right away. So now the helicopter is ready for liftoff and it's, uh, it looks nice from here. So you hold space to go up and you hold X to go down. The keys are very simple. And if you hold S, you know, your backwards key where you uh, walk backwards, that actually makes you go up if you hold space and if you hold S. It has no custom noises, but it actually functions just like a helicopter. To launch a missile, all you have to do is just left click and it's going to launch a missile. To fire some bullets, all you have to do is press left click and it's going to start launching those. When you shoot, it does have custom noises. You could start receiving damage after hitting a wall and it's going to tell you the percentage that your damage is reaching. Once it hits 100% it will explode and it will start a fire. So while you're in the helicopter you could remove the display. All you have to do is press C and it's going to remove itself but you could still fly the helicopter if you know how to fly the helicopter invisible but uh, if I right click it's going to launch a missile towards those spiders and they're going to run away. So what will happen if your helicopter goes in water? It won't go in water, it's going to act like a boat. All it's really going to do is just float. Say you want to get off the helicopter and you don't know the key. You can't press escape, you have to press Y. Once you press Y, you're going to jump off the helicopter and it's just going to fall down. If your helicopter is damaged, don't even worry. Eventually it's going to repair itself. See that the smoke disappeared. Alright, so that's basically it. This mod just adds in a helicopter into your Minecraft game. It does work multiplayer and it does work single player. So if you're still interested in this mod and you want to go ahead and try out this mod, let's go ahead and see on how to install this awesome mod. It's really easy. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is really easy to install. We shouldn't have any errors, but the first thing I'm going to want to do, of course, before installing this mod is to go here to Options and Force Update My Game. The reason why I'm going to force Update My Game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods. If it's not compatible, you will get a black screen and you won't be happy. So Options, Force Update, and Login to download a brand new Minecraft .jar, which we're going to mod. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this uh, updating and you're going to go to my description. It's going to take you to my website. You're going to get Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP, and you're going to get the uh, the helicopter mod. There we go. It took a while to remember that. But all right, so you're going to get this right here. So you're just going to get the downloads, drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better. And also, we're going to do this for a server. So I'm going to show you how to set it up for a server as well for you and your friends to be able to play. Remember that you have to set it up for a client. Right now, we have to mod our Minecraft.jar in order for this to work on a server. All right, so tell your friends to install the mod and let's go ahead and install this mod. Once you have the downloads, drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better and let's go ahead and install this mod. I'm gonna go here to start, search your program file, I'm gonna type in percent app data percent and for Windows XP users, you should see here run and you run percent data percent. It should take you up here to the roaming folder. So click on the roaming folder and you should see dot Minecraft very top. You can go into your dot Minecraft folder. You can see bin resources, save everything else. Go into your bin folder before you open up your Minecraft thought jar with WinRAR or any 7-zip opener. You have to make sure you have your Minecraft game closed. Here's my Minecraft game that is just forced updated. You have to exit off your game before installing any mods. So exit off your Minecraft game and now you're going to right click your Minecraft thought jar that's located in your bin folder. Open with WinRAR or any 7-zip opener. So open up your Minecraft thought jar with WinRAR. 
So open that up and move it aside. The first thing you have to do, of course, before installing any mods is to delete MetaInf. You have to delete MetaInf. So right click MetaInf and delete files. Say yes and delete MetaInf. Now MetaInf is gone. Now we can continue. Open up Mod Loader. Double click Mod Loader. Move it aside. You're going to highlight all the files from Mod Loader and simply drag it all into the Minecraft.jar site and replace. Press OK and you are done with Mod Loader. Exit off Mod Loader. Move it aside. Now you need Mod Loader MP. Double click Mod Loader MP. Move it aside. You're going to highlight the files from Mod Loader MP and simply drag it all into the Minecraft.jar site and replace. Press OK and you are done with Mod Loader MP. Exit off Mod Loader MP and move it aside. Now go ahead and exit off the Minecraft.jar site because we are done with that. So exit off your Minecraft.jar site. Make sure you're still in the bin folder where we open up our Minecraft.jar with WinRAR because you can go back one. So go back to your .minecraft folder with bin, resources, save, and everything else. Alright, so if you don't have a mods folder, you have to create a new folder called mods. Right click, new folder, and call it mods, M-O-D-S, just like this. If you already have a mods folder, that's great. So go into your mods folder that you just created. There shouldn't be anything in here. If you have anything, you can go ahead and delete it if you like. It doesn't really matter. So go ahead and drag over that helicopter client into your mods folder. And once you have that, go ahead and exit off and double check and see if it works. So let's go ahead and double check, see if uh, the helicopter does show up. If it does show up, then that's great. Now we could uh, install this for a server, but let me go ahead and double check, make sure that I installed the mod correctly. You shouldn't have gotten a black screen. If you got a black screen, then this mod isn't compatible with your mod or you have uh, or you have mods that, yeah, literally don't work with this mod. All right, so I'm gonna go to single player. I thought I got a black screen, but it just took a while to load. And let me go ahead and see if I can I could change the creative. I can't change the creative, so let me go ahead and go into a world that is creative, such as this world. And there it is. There's a helicopter right here. So the mod did work. And let's go ahead and install this for our server. You have to exit off your Minecraft game. So save and quit. Exit off your Minecraft game. What you do is... Uh, hold on. Let me just go ahead and delete that. All right. So what you do is you have to download a brand new Minecraft server.jar, in which we're going to mod. It has to be a Minecraft server.jar. It can't be an exe. So get a Minecraft server.jar. And then you're going to get the mod helicopter server download. Here's the server download, and you're going to get mod loader MP server. All right, what you do is create a new folder. So I click new and folder, and you can call it whatever you like. I'm going to call mine modded server. And there we go. What you do is drag over your Minecraft server.jar into that modded server that you created. So let's go ahead and go into that folder, and you should have the server right here. What you do is right click that Minecraft server.jar open with WinRAR or any sim zip opener. So open that up just like how you open up a uh, Minecraft.jar. You just open it up and move it aside. Do not delete MetaInf. Make sure you don't delete MetaInf. And what you're going to do is open up your uh, mod loader server, highlight all the files from the mod loader MP server, and simply drag it all into the Minecraft server.jar. And replace press OK and you are done. So exit off everything. And now let's go ahead and run the server just by double clicking. And let's go ahead and make the server run. And if you notice, it says right here, uh, Mod Loader has uh, been analyzed and now it's running. Let's go ahead and check. And yes, it did work perfectly. Mod Loader MP was installed successfully because we got the mods folder. Once the spawn region's done, go ahead and stop your server. So make sure you stop your server before doing uh, the last step. So let's go ahead and stop our server and wait for it to say uh, saving chunks and press anything to continue. There we go. All right. So in that mods folder, what you do is grab that helicopter's server and drag it into that mods folder, okay? Just like that. So go into that mods folder and you should have the helicopter server in there. That's basically how to install the mod. If you uh, got confused, please rewatch this video because it was really simple. Let's go ahead and double click that and now it's going to say that uh, it's going to notice that the mod has analyzed the helicopter's mod. Let's go ahead and check the server and see if it did work. I'm going to log in and now I'm going to go into multiplayer. Now I'm going to do a direct connect. I'm going to do local host since it, I haven't set up an IP. So I'm going to do local host, press enter, and I should be able to join the server with ease. And I wish I could game mode myself. And let's go ahead and check if that worked. And yeah, it did work. So let's go ahead and scroll down. And here's the helicopter. If I put in my inventory, I shouldn't uh, get logged out of the server. And now when I right click it, uh, the helicopter should be here somewhere. Maybe it doesn't spawn in this area. Let me go ahead and double check, see if it works. And I, I guess it's not, it's not spawning. What's up with that? Is that a bug? Um, all I know is this is correctly how to install this mod. Maybe you can't spawn it in top of trees. Let's try it right here. Oh, there we go. So yeah, uh, don't worry if you don't uh, if the helicopter doesn't spawn in top of the the trees. It's because for some reason I guess that's a little bug. So yeah, just make sure you spawn your helicopter uh, in a flat area like uh, like this uh, stone. And just right click that and yeah it's a bit buggy i i just wow this is very bad
This is horrible. It's just going straight up. I'm not even controlling this. All right, so, uh, hey, I could control it now. It just goes straight up. That's pretty cool. Maybe it's a bit buggy because it's still in development. Anyways, guys, this mod is really awesome. Thank you guys for watching the tutorial. If you guys do enjoy this mod, you go ahead and leave a rating or you can post a comment. You guys are awesome. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you. Hey, man, it's your buddy Porkchop. You like the music in the video? Go ahead and subscribe to Josh Woodward right there the green box. If you like the review or the tutorial, go ahead and subscribe to my buddy SCM Owns. They're both nice people. They like me. They call me Porkchop. And they think I'm really cool. Just look at my eyes. Look what I can do with them. Pretty awesome, right? Anyways, go ahead and subscribe to one of those two. It doesn't matter which one. Maybe both, you know? Maybe you're that cool. Come on, man.